normally they're a little more to the side, but it's okay. Nothing to worry about. Don't fret the small stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go in. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to go in and finish off the black on our bark now. Just rinsing my brush so it's good and clean. And let's get that bark finished off. Remember to tap it off a little. And how I like to do mine is I just kind of start at the edges where the two branches meet. That way if I have too much ink, it's going to be right there instead of halfway down the branch. And then on the branches, I just kind of tap a little bit on. I'm kind of pulling it over at the same time. Again, I don't have a lot of ink on my brush. You see, I'm still using the same one that I tapped in a couple seconds ago. And I kind of turn it around. Fix my paper towel there. Kind of turn it around just so you can see another perspective of it. We're going to just turn it this way. And just keep adding your black in. And I keep turning my painting. <clears throat> you need to do it the best way it works for you. And it's like these two branches have merged together. So I kind of have, they're coming over like that. Let me turn it around. Work on this area right here. You'll see my brush kind of has a little bent on it. I've been using it for a while. It actually works perfect for doing the birch trees. Just goes to show you, you don't have to have new products all the time. It's looking pretty good. And there's a few different birch trees, so I recommend pulling up. If you don't have birch trees in your area, pull some up online, take a look at them. You'll see the paper birch is different than the river birch. And uh, they all have their own look. The younger ones look different than the older ones. I noticed I had a little fuzzy on there, so I had to wipe that off. And you can see when I was wiping the white, wiping the paint out to get that white, it left a little bit of color, which works perfect for shadowing. And then what I need to do is I like to add in a few stems or dead little branches that are coming off. A lot of times you'll see on the birch trees they have 
these uh, a lot of dead twigs on them. I just kind of pick a spot that I like and put a little more ink on there. And just kind of bring it over. Again, there's no right or wrong way to it how you would like. I think on a birch tree, these little tiny branches, when you add them on, they just really make your tree pop even more. And your little lines don't have to be perfect. They can just come here and there. Okay, that is looking pretty good right there. So, let's see. I think we'll bring a few more over here. So we have some twigs coming up from him. A lot of times the birch trees will have different little twigs coming up from the bottom. I just see a couple spots that want a little bit more on the branches. So on my painting, you can see I started the clouds first. I came in and did the horizon, came back, touched up the water, brought in my land formation. And now what we're going to do is add a little more color and some more definition around the edges here. You can actually just even go in with a fan brush and a little alcohol, give it some taps. So I didn't even put any ink. I didn't put any more ink on my brush. I just tapped it into the alcohol a little bit. And it just goes to show you a little goes a long way.
And I think we should do just some little flowers for springtime. So I'm going to just clean my fan brush, come over here, I'm going to pick up some color, and I'm going to turn this into flowers over here. Happy little flowers. My grandparents used to own a greenhouse for 74 years, long time. So I was around a lot of flowers and I love them. And we should add some flowers over here by the tree, too. And we'll get rid of that. And we'll grab our another color. And we'll add a tiny bit of grass. Like the brown grasses you see by the water. We'll add just a little bit of color to it too. Tap off your brush so you don't have too much. A lot of times by the pond the grass likes to go a little crazy. I think that's looking pretty good. And you can keep going or you can stop and you know just take a look at it, see what you like. A lot of times though I have to come back in and add me a little birdie. So we're gonna do that. And if you're not quite sure how to do it, you can practice on a little tile. So I got my little tile right here, you can see. And what this is here is I was doing a different painting and I wanted to see exactly what color I wanted. I was looking for a certain color. So I just took a little test tile and wiped it on. So let's practice our bird. We can do a little V-shaped bird. Or we can, whoops, see even I make mistakes. We can do a, a little M bird. So this one here looks more like a V and this one here looks more like an M. And I think we'll go ahead and go with the little V again. That's what I did in my last painting. And I think we'll put him in. I'm gonna go about right there, right there, and maybe just the three of them today. And we'll go ahead and sign this painting. We just go T and call black. And there you go. We got a painting done. Again, my name is Teresa Koblak, and I hope you enjoyed this painting. 
and I look forward to see you in the future. Have a great day and I'll go ahead and put a paper towel under this so you can see it a little bit better. Again, thanks again for joining me. My name is Teresa Kovlak. Grab out your inks and get started.